years ago, uh, we, we kind of started from scratch. Facilities were a big issue for us, and we kind of chipped away at it. We didn't feel like we could do things overnight. We improved a little bit every year, and our main concern is the, the well-being of the players and to try to get them their four best years of football. The first thing we look for in a player is a good kid. We want a guy with good character. We're going to spend a lot of time hugging them around the neck, patting them on the back, but if they're not doing what they're supposed to, we're not going to ignore them. Hug it up, hug it up, hug it up, hug it up. Treat it like a bottom line business, you know, uh, expect results. When he comes, hug it up. We got to be aggressive in our hugs. We're very young in the offensive line, not much experience. Uh, so it's really been a challenge to build these guys up. Are we going like, the play will be coming. I don't know where it's going to go. I can't tell you it's a cup. I can't tell you it's a cutback. It may hit right there. I just want you to boom, hit him right there. Let him clear, come off his back. He has the right of way. We have intellectual kids. We run an intellectual style of offense and defense, and we just need to coach the concepts and let our smart players pick up on those concepts. If your pads turn down at all, what's he going to do? He's going to keep it. They have great work habits. They do it the right way. Fight pressure. Rip, 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 fight pressure. Off arm, off arm. It's game time. Game speed, game speed. But we're trying to recreate a game day environment where there's, where there's a lot of pressure and, and you've got to perform within that pressure. Find a way, find a way. Put it in a framework, put it in a framework. It's just effort right there. Practice hard, and then once you get to the game, after you've wrapped it so many times in practice, um, it should be easy to you. Get your butt down. Rip through. Drop your weight. Boom. Rip through. Got to tell him something. You got to depend on someone else every play, uh, every day. Tackle well, play well. We talked about it in the meeting room. Creeper, creeper, creeper. The minute you start throwing, like you can't all hell breaking loose, what that tells the punter is, I better catch it and kick it. Teach him fundamentals first and foremost. Give ground to gain ground. You know, it's going to boil down to us just making plays. The large majority of their screens come on second and long and third down. The backside safety has to stay backside for the tight end. Don't get stuck on the five. See the scrape mic over the top. Pass that thing off center. Tell them go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, let's go, let's go. Wasted rep. Come on, come on. There you go, big baby. There you go, big baby. Come on, man. It's easy. You do your job. You know, just your job. If you do your job and everybody does their job, you get 11 people doing the job at the same time, then you're going to have a situation where you're going to have a successful play. I need you to lock in and lead this team right now. I need you to do your job and be perfect right now. Do your job. You do your job, you'll get a take back. You do your job and you make them do theirs. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Lead the team by doing your job. I need you to play good. And you can't play good if you're not doing your job. This game really is not that tough. It's really not. Everybody cares about you, and that means that we're going to expect great things out of our players. You got to win the kicking game. You got to win the penalty battles. You got to have fewer penalties than they have. You got to win the turnover battle. And guys, you got to have more big plays than they have. It's really a pretty simple game. You do those four things right there, you win. Guys, really, this one's for you. This one's for you. You guys played for each other today. We want self-motivated uh, kids, kids that get up in the morning and go to bed at night th dreaming about winning championships. And when you find those kind of kids, teaching becomes easy.